Hi, this is Nika again. You guys wanted, um, well, not necessarily you wanted it, but, um, I said in one of my videos that I would tell you about how Leafy and Handy came up, and, um, this is how it came up. So, one day, my brother and I were sitting in the car, and we were obviously just really bored. You know how kids get really bored sometimes? You know, well... My brother and I were pretty small back then. I started this Leafy and Handy business many years ago. And I've just really taken a passion to it. And so whenever we go on trips and whenever we may be bored, um, well, my brother Aldo and I always have the spirit to play some Leafy and Handy. And so a um, long time ago, uh, when it got started, um, we used to have a lot of funnier stuff, um, really funny things that, that even my parents would laugh when I did something. Now it's not so funny, but it's just kind of fun to play, and um, I wanted to see if the people on YouTube would like Leafy and Handy, and if you really don't like Leafy and Handy, that's fine, because some people think it's a little bit, <laughs> sorry, the camera kind of dropped. Um, well, some people think it's kind of babyish, or a little bit offensive to anything. Some people don't like any of the characters at all and think they're stupid, but they may think I'm a total idiot, but I really don't care because I take my passion very seriously. And if you think I'm an idiot, I'm just gonna, I'm just not gonna listen to that. I'm, I, I mean, it's okay if you think I am, but you don't have to say it in the comment box. I mean, you can just say, these videos aren't the greatest, or something like that. But I really prefer that you don't say that I suck, or any negative comments, because I really don't like that. But, as you know, sometimes I get a little bit sidetracked, so if you guys want to learn more about the Leafy Handy stuff, here it is. Um, well, while I was in the car, my brother and I used to do this thing called Preacher. The Preacher Labs, I think? Something like that. And, um, he used to go in, and I used to pretend I was one of the, all the creatures. And I used to say, what kind of creature do you want? And he'd say, oh, you know, I want something that goes in the water, or something like that. But usually I'd say, do you want this creature? It's up for adoption. And usually the creature would be really stupid, and he'd hit it, and be mean to it, and it'd cry, and it would just be a total baby. And eventually he got better. And, um, he liked the creatures a lot. He made friends with a lot of them. And one of them, which is the one that stuck in my mind the most, was one that we called a hot squirrel mon male. And his name was Jaybury. And I think I'm going to name my child one of them, well, that name one day, because I really enjoy that name that my brother made up. Um, so it started that. And so eventually I decided, what if there was a creature that looked exactly like a hand, or like a foot, or a body part. And so I decided, hey, I think this might actually work. And so he picked it, and um, I just named them, and we started this funny thing. And he would play with these hands every, every single day. And eventually there became feet, too, lefty and righty, which are not exactly that popular, because I've made comics of Leafy and Handy, and Lefty and Righty, and The Surgeon, but they're always called Leafy and Handy because they were the first ones to cre be created. And so later there's more stuff like Mrs. Parkney, which is, if you haven't watched that video yet, um, she's a really mean teacher. Um, she is just very mean and leafy and handy going to her class and they get tortured and the surgeon thinks she's nice. And then she moves in next door to them. Well, not next door, but like across the street. And so they think she's they think she's crazy, and so there's this other guy named Skin and Bones who is in my comics, but I can't show him on the video because he's a human-sized guy, and um, I don't know how to make a costume of him because it would be kind of complicated. But um, well, you know, um, I just I really like Luffy and Handy a lot. I think it's hilarious and. It doesn't really matter if you don't like it, but you don't have to watch those videos. You can rate them all bad, but just don't make mean comments, as I said before. 
So, um, and then um, Leafy and Handy just started to be a big thing there. Was a lot of different hands. Every single hand that ever imagined, like you could think of a random hand, like a the first thing that pops into my head is a basket hand. Is basket Leafy, and that's just um, another version of Leafy, but not exactly as popular. I mean, I won't show any of those other extra hands on my videos, but those were in the playing, and the comics are mostly about their problems and there's one one comic that I made which I, well, I haven't made it yet but I made a cover for it and um, it's they go to Lake Anza and so if you want to learn more about their personalities then um, well Leafy is just like really really like exciting and he's always the happy one and content with what he gets but he gets really big so there's a picture of him holding a shark and um, Handy is just, she gets way out of the ordinary. She's lucky, but she doesn't get, like, really good stuff. She gets gets or, out of the ordinary stuff, and she doesn't care. So there's a picture of her holding a tire. And she's saying, look, a tire. I'm so amazed. You know, like, good attitude. And then lefty and righty are pretty much normal. They, there's a each picture of both of them holding just an average-sized fish, smiling. And the surgeon is a little bit harder to explain. He always gets the smallest amount possible, but he's just, he's really happy, always happy with what he gets, even though he gets so little. So there's a picture of him holding these teeny, tiny little fish, about that big. And he's just smiling, this huge smile. And so um, Leafy and Handy Comics, I've been making them for years and years, and... Um, I'm thinking about making them into a book or something like something a little bit more interesting. I, I don't know, but um, you know. So um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box or anything about Luffy and Handy. Or if you have any derogatory sayings, please keep them small so that they don't, you know, hurt my feelings because I really don't like people who are mean. And if you don't like my video, just. Don't do, don't say anything about it. But um, if you have any questions, and if you really like my video, you can sub subscribe, subscribe. Sorry, and um, you can um, like say a little something nice or something like that. And if you have a question, I'll post it in my question video, and I'll keep making more and more question videos to answer all your questions. If a question's already been answered, then I probably won't posted in another video unless it's slightly different but so peace out YouTube